So I woke up this morning and I got into conversation with the Lord simply because I just wanted to know from the Lord, why am I still here? Lord, you gave me a deadline. I met that deadline. You worked some things out, got things in place for me to leave. So why am I still here? Why am I here in the heat hot, hottest part of the year? Why am I here like this, the way that I'm like this? Why am I here? Let me tell you what I got back. Because it's uncomfortable. Because it's uncomfortable. And that's when I got mad. That's when I got mad. Because I've walked in obedience. I've been obedient to you. And so now I'm just supposed to sit and stay in an uncomfortable situation. But here's what I also got after that. God is using me as a living example of what it looks like. Him breaking us free from our comfort zone. Because right now, this entire country, and I say this country because I ain't never been nowhere else. Is built upon comfort. Believers. And Christians. Are caught up in their comfort zones. This entire everything is about comfort. Oh, we got to have jobs so we can live comfortably. We got to have our houses so we can live comfortably. We got to have our places with all of these things in it so we can live comfortably. We got to have a nice car so we can be comfortable. And God says it is time to break free from these comfort zones because we cannot grow in our comfort zones. So the reason why I'm having to go through the stuff that I'm going through and the reason why you see me just sitting and waiting for the Lord is because it's uncomfortable. A lot of times people don't know how to do something until they see it done first. But guess what? I'm that one that God is using for it to be done first. That's why the Lord told me in the beginning, believe that the impossible is possible with me because a lot of times people do not step out of their comfort zone. And so with that, I just have to say this because this was on my spirit yesterday. I cannot have people in my circle and I got to be very, very careful about who I allow in my circle and who I have in close proximity to me. Because when people get close enough to me, they start trying to tell me what it is they think that I should be doing. They start giving me advice on what they think. I should be doing and not what God says. And so I learned this lesson a year ago. I, it's been a few years where the Lord was teaching me that, but I got my hardest lesson last year in regards to that. And so that's when I decided I'm done. I ain't bringing nobody else in close proximity. I ain't bringing nobody else in my circle. It's me and my daughter right now. But it's a wrap because people get close to me in my circle and they start telling me what I should be doing, what they think I should be doing. But if God didn't tell me that, I'm not listening to you. I'm not following what you tell me to do because that is not what God told me to do. I hear the Lord very well. I do not do that. So that's one of the reasons why I cannot have people in my close circle. And I had to learn that the hard way. My circle is my heavenly father, Jesus and the Holy Spirit. That's it. That's my dream team, because that's the one that I get advice from. Because a lot of people are so caught up in comfort. Oh, well, you got to get somewhere where you're comfortable until you get set up. Listen. I'm not supposed to get set up here. I'm not supposed to get comfortable here. This is not where I'm supposed to get set up. I'm not trying to find a place here. I'm not trying to be comfortable until I am following what the Lord is telling me to do. Period. And you guys just happen to be watching this. 
I don't know if I said this before, but I know I was showing sure enough thinking it. I have always been a private person. I don't like sharing nothing with nobody. But the Lord has me sharing my entire journey with y'all. But I also understand that God gave me the platform. He gave me the ministry. He did all of these things in me, not for me, but for him to use me. But then not just like that, but for God to use those people for me as well. So it's a two way street. So the stuff that God is doing in me, the stuff that God is having me share with you, the stuff that God is giving me wisdom on to give you wisdom on. It's a two way street. It goes both ways. And so it's time for us to get out of our comfort zone. We are so caught up in being comfortable. That we feel like, oh, in order to follow God, we're going to be comfortable. We're going to be comfortable in following God. When God tells us to do something, he's going to make sure that we're comfortable. No, he ain't. No, he is not. Because in Bible times, he had all of his people suffering at some point. Even Jesus himself suffered at some point. But the glory that came after their suffering far outweighed what they went through. That's the reason why I shared that scripture today. And then God gave me Romans 8, 18 through 21. Then God gave me 1 Corinthians 1, 4 through 9. Then God gave me 1 Corinthians 1, 26 through 31. Then God gave me 2 Corinthians 1, 3 through 7. Then God gave me Romans 12, 1 and 2. He gave me all of these things to back up what he was telling me this morning. This is not one of those, oh, it's going to be easy and fun type journeys. So this is what I'm going to say. When you feel the prompting of the Lord. To move in some way on our behalf, please obey. Because you do not know. How you will be an answer to the prayers that I have prayed and the prayers that other people have prayed on my behalf. Please do not disobey God. Do not ignore the promptings of the Holy Spirit because you do not know how God is going to use you to meet a need in my life. You don't know. I personally don't even know. But let me tell you what the Lord was revealing to me yesterday. Points for hotel stays and travel work just as good as money. And that kind of blew my mind. And I was like, wow, Lord. So what that means is even if somebody may not have money to give and to donate, there's other ways to go about helping somebody and blessing them. So do not ignore the promptings of the Holy Spirit. You don't know what it is that I have been praying for. You don't know what it is that my situation is calling for. You don't know because I'm still sharing only what the Lord tells me to share. I'm not going all into detail about every single thing. But there's a lot going on behind the scene that you just don't know. That is just not comfortable. That's just not easy. So don't ignore those, please. And just understand that everything that you see is not me walking in my own will. It's me walking in what the Lord is telling me to do because he's using me to show the world. It's time to get out of our comfort zone.